Hi, Caleb with Brownhouse here. Today we're going to be taking a look at these two popular calibers, the 308 Winchester and the 762 by 51 NATO. Now we get a lot of call, calls about these on the tech line, what's safe to use in what chamber, so let's jump right into that first. So the most important thing to know is that if you have a rifle chambered for 308 Winchester, then you're good to go for 762 51, but not the other way around. Um, reason being is that the 308 Winchester has a thinner wall thickness on the brass and is a higher pressure cartridge. Your 762 by 51 NATO has a thicker wall thickness and is a lower pressure cartridge. So most 762 51 uh, NATO chambers are chambered a little bit longer as far as the headspace goes because they're made to accept cartridges made all over the world. It's a, it's a NATO cartridge. Your 762 by 51 NATO chamber is cut longer and because that brass is thicker it can expand into that longer chamber. The 308 Winchester being thinner, I cannot, so you run the risk of having a case rupture there. So always verify with the manufacturer um, if it's a newer production rifle and it says 7.62 by 51. Verify with the manufacturer that it's okay for 308. Most modern chambers are cut for both, so you're good to go there uh, and shouldn't have any issues. But if you have any doubt at all, double check. So the 762 by 51 NATO came about after World War II because NATO was trying to get a cartridge that worked better in the smaller mechanisms um, and be more universal, such as the FAL, M14, different things like that. Um, and then Winchester decided to market it on the commercial market as 308 Winchester. Uh, so that's a bit of history behind it there. So if you have any questions about these cartridges or of course any other cartridges, feel free to leave us a comment below or give us a call on the tech line. We'll be happy to help you out. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time.